We're getting some activity on the REM pod already. Oh shit! He's here, knocking on that wall right there in the corner by that desk. This get, does get- Oh sh shit! Oh sh shit! Something's touching my back. We're getting- oh. oh my god! I'm Mo Sarji. Oh, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Oh, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, Tom, my boy! Live a little. What's up, Sergeants? Welcome back to another late night paranormal investigation. I am joined with my friend Angelo over here, Hello. which is on his phone, apparently. Sorry. I also have. <laughs> My friend Elliot. Where is Elliot? Where is he? He's always, him, uh, always in the background. <laughs> Elliot's the man, guys. Today he's hooked us up with this awesome location to investigate, and it's a really haunted one. So this right here is called the Gatehouse. There's three different locations that we're going to be investigating for different videos on this property tonight. It's around 9.30 p.m. right now, so by the time we're done from here, we're probably going to be very, very tired. There is this haunted house that's behind me that's had a lot of paranormal activity, which I'll let Elliot tell us about later on. Also, there's a haunted mill right on the river that has so much paranormal activity as well and also a really creepy haunted cabin which I'm doing a separate video in the cabin in the woods there smash the hell out of that like button we're gonna leave a link for Elliot's social medias you guys can give him a follow at phantoms of the your and uh, he's a really cool guy you guys have seen him in my videos in the past like at the Lorinelle jail with the haunted baby bassinet that was a really creepy one and Fort Henry as well so Elliot's the man He's hooking us up tonight, and uh, let's uh, let's dig into this one. All right, so Elliot, what do we got going on here? You are at the Gatehouse in Mississippi Mills. Now, this is the Baird General Store, built in the 1830s. Now, Baird was not a well-liked man in the community. He lost this entire milling enterprise in a legal battle. His whole family died out here after he immigrated from Scotland. This building right here has the most negative activity out of all the buildings in the mill. What do you mean by negative? Like, what's going on? He doesn't want us here. Right now, he doesn't want us here. And you've established that how? Through in investigations? Well, right now, with your camera's not working. Yeah, his camera literally started yeah. malfunctioning. I'll show that to you guys right it's here. Really... Wait, what happened to your camera? I don't know. I was just filming the cinematic of the outside there. What? Yeah. And the error prevented shooting. Turn the camera off and on again. Or yeah. reinstall the battery. No That's idea. weird. <laughs> Wait, it just happened again? Yeah. Literally. So, Wait, I'm just trying to film a cinematic. I don't know what the hell's happening. Yeah, twice now. I'm just filming the f side of this house twice it happened. With the bangs and creaks we've been hearing while we were inside earlier. Yeah. The vibe you get when you walk through that building and the relief you get when you leave. It is thought that he mistreated his employees and his employees lived upstairs. And I think they're still there. Have you done your own investigations here? I have. And what kind of stuff have you captured? Use your spirit box. Spirit box. John Barrett has a deep, deep voice. And the best example I have of this was a group at the event. They got a, we want you out. Oh, that's so wow. cool. And if you know how a spirit box works, it runs through radio frequencies, right? Yeah, yeah. So to have those pauses with the same voice. That's a strong that's spirit. the entire bandwidth. How is that possible? That's, you know what that is? That's a strong spirit right oh, there. It's yeah. got lots of energy to interrupt all those frequencies and basically speak a sentence. So if you did a deep voice through the spirit box, that's John. And he doesn't like people here. Okay. So another interesting fact is that William Lyon Mackenzie King did do seances here. Robert Tate Mackenzie and Ethel Mackenzie owned the mills in the early 20th century. This is where they stayed. And it's my belief that when William Lyon Mackenzie King was here, he experienced something paranormal which led him to want to do a seances. So what I think you guys should do is be alone and talk to John Barry. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys just heard that. Sorry to cut you off. I heard like I heard a bang come from inside the... I told you, he does yeah. not want us here. Kind of like on the window. He's angry. I've had hundreds of people come here for public investigations. This building right here makes everyone uncomfortable. And there's one spot in the house, well, two spots, but one main spot that everybody picks up on as feeling extremely heavy. 
Okay. Okay. Now another interesting thing is that I've had people use the Ouija board in here, uh -oh. and we got through three groups, not known to each other, different nights, get the same initials and the same numbers. Really? And I have no idea what they mean. That's significant. Same initials and same numbers yeah. on the spirit I can't box? say what it is because people still come to the event, and mm -hmm. I want to see if it will continue. Yeah. Right? Not on the spirit box, on a Ouija board. Ouija board. Do you have so, a Ouija board? I don't have a Ouija uh, board, but... I don't have one. We have a spirit portal. So yeah. That thing is really good. Here's what I want to do. I kind of want to walk around this place by myself first mm -hmm. and see what's going on there before I bust out the spirit portal and make can communicate with something. And I know you don't like to be in this building alone. No, no. I told you guys already. I said, you know, I'm coming out here for you guys. Yeah. You're not leaving me here to lock up alone. Okay. Because these woods are crazy mm -hmm. active at night. There is so much going on inside this place. I can't wait to get in and investigate it. I'm going to do that right now. Let's go. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Mm -hmm. Please. Luck. All if I scream like a little girl, which I usually do. We're not coming to save you, sorry. No, I want you to come and save me. Oh, you sure? Mm, give it a couple minutes. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Oh boy, here we go. All right, guys, making my... Oh, Jesus Christ. Just slammed the door on me like that. Making my way into this old historic gatehouse. And this house actually has some artifacts in it. And the thing is... What the hell is that? What is that? Yeah, I can hear the clock ticking, but I just sound like something was moving over here. Throughout this investigation and all the other places on this property that we're gonna be investigating tonight, I have all my tools and gadgets, spirit box, REM pod, K2 meter, cat balls, SLS camera, spirit portal, and even a device that magnifies the sound around us. Starting to feel it, not gonna lie right now, this is very tense and very scary, just standing here in the darkness. I mean, we could turn on the lights. This place isn't abandoned. We have permission to be here, but who the hell wants to investigate with lights on, right? Is that moving? I'm pretty sure this cat ball is moving. Why is this cat ball moving? Could be just light reflection. So I'm gonna be bringing a K2 meter with me right now. All my other gear is gonna be used later on throughout the investigation of this place. I do feel uneasy, but apparently there is a ghost or a spear on that side of the building over there. And he doesn't like people in here. His name is John. John! Are you with? Oh, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. K2 meter is... What the hell is that? There's something downstairs and guys, look at this. K2 meter is spiking straight to red right now. John? Holy shit. Oh! What is that? There's something moving downstairs. So I'm getting EMF readings on the K2 meter already. Elliot is actually terrified to be in this place by himself. For good reason. This place is old. It's historic. It has paranormal activity. That happens in here. What the f is moving upstairs? This K2 has not stopped going off since I got in here. This is rare. This much electromagnetic frequencies and energy. So apparently... John doesn't like it when people come into this side of the building for some reason. And uh, I don't know why either. He just apparently doesn't like it. Pretty cool. So you can tell this is like an administration side. This is just an office in here. How interesting. I'm not getting any readings on the K2 meter now. But I was over here. So let's go back over here and see. Maybe there's something that was causing that. Or whatever it was, it just passed. Oh my god. Look at these EMF readings. What is moving over here? Not sure my camera's picking up on this, but look at these K2 readings going straight to red. That's so rare. It is so rare to get K2 readings like this. There's something here. Definitely, 100%. Um, I don't want to keep my lights on for too long because I'm actually pretty terrified. The guys are waiting out in the parking lot away from the house so they don't contaminate this place 
with noises, talking, sounds. I'm gonna go upstairs right now, hoping, hoping I can catch something. Hey John, if you're here, you wanna make that chair spin or something? So Elliot, you know, he's an experienced paranormal investigator and he's been doing this for a long time. But even he does not walk around here alone at nighttime or like to lock this place up because he gets really freaked out by it. I don't blame him. The vibes in here are totally different. The energy is different. It's scary. Since day one of me doing paranormal stuff and this started like eight years ago, I've been doing this for a long time. I've always asked you guys to do one thing and that's investigate the videos with me. Check the backgrounds, make sure in the darkness you see something. If you do, point it out in the comments below. I kind of started doing that on YouTube. Do that for me in this video as well, guys. Don't forget, I need you to be my ghost hunters. Just like I'm a ghost hunter, you guys are ghost hunters and you hunt through my videos, through my eyes so you can do it safely. This get, does get, oh shit, shit. Oh shit, shit. Something's touching my back. Something just touched my, my, my right shoulder blade. <laughs> Is touching me. Is there something on my back? John, is that you? I think John just touched me. As I was trying to say, I want you guys to help me investigate these videos. I want you guys to be a part of the adventures. And that's why I started the Ghost Hunter Live a Little brand. Links for that are down below. Getting really dizzy right now. There's something here. I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the energy. There's definitely something here. John is here. And what I'm trying to say is I want you guys to help me investigate. And by doing so, just watch the videos from the beginning till the end. Check every crevice, every part of the timeline to see if we can capture something. Now, I don't know what I'm going through because I haven't been up here yet. There's like a bathroom over here. Keep in mind, there's no one else inside this house but me. Oh, look at this. What the hell is this room? Is that a turkey and a bear and an owl? Whoa, taxiderm. These were real animals at one point. They got their Christmas decorations here as well. I've never been more freaked out to be inside of a house or a, a place like this. What is this place? There's some old microscopes. It's very strange. Elliot told me once you go upstairs, you're gonna feel this weird feeling. And that feeling is, I'm feeling very uneasy. I'm feeling scared. I feel a strange energy upon me. And something did touch my right shoulder blade in that other room. And I also felt very dizzy. I just wanted to keep my composure on camera though. I don't wanna feel like, you know, something's already here. And, and, but in reality, something is here. Something's physically touching me and I'm, I still feel like it right now. All right, so I just uh, came back outside because, uh, oh, what the f was that? Oh, it was a, it was a bug. bug. Jesus, I'm on edge. Here. I'm on edge. <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh, the main floor, K2, was going completely crazy. So the main, uh, do you know anything? Have you ever had the K2s go off on the main floor? Yeah, so. Is there an explanation uh, for that? There is a modem to look out for. Okay. You know, the main area where EMF activity is prominent as the second floor around the top of the stairs. Okay. Now it will appear with questioning and then you can't find any source that would cause yeah. that. Um, and it's extremely instant. And it goes along with the story Look what just landed on my hand. Standing at the top of the stairs. Jesus Christ, these things are, there's literally one on your stomach. Um, so when I was upstairs, I felt like something touched my right shoulder blade in one of those offices mm -hmm. and I felt like a dizziness upon me, a heavy dizziness. What side? What do you mean? What side, which room? So when you go up, and not the room that has the turkeys in it. The other one. The other one. Yeah. Is that the one that people feel things in there? Really? In that little cubby? Now, I didn't know that, right? Like, you've, you haven't told yeah, me this yet. I didn't tell you guys. Holy yeah. crap. There's another spot that I kind of Top of the experienced. Stairs, yeah, yeah the I want to see if maybe I experienced it again. So you said the turkey room? Not the turkey room. The room opposite from the turkey opposite room. Turkey yeah. Room. Okay. And for me, it was the top of the stairs. When we went up the first time, we just get king here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Angelo, it's your turn. Have fun. I, will. I didn't go in the basement yet. I'm not going to go in the basement while I'm alone in this house. I don't care. Oh, okay. It's actually pretty well, scary we'll in there. <laughs> All right, good luck, Angelo. I'm locking you in.
What happened? I don't know. I just noticed the the downstairs area, like as I was coming more towards where the door is, it's a lot cooler, like cold, like there's AC. No, there's right? no. You're saying there's no AC. It's pretty warm out here too. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so what do you guys say we all go in, uh -huh. bust out our tech, start investigating together. Talk to John. All right, talk yeah. to John. Let's go talk to John. You guys will not believe this. We're locked out. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo. You locked us out, but thankfully, know. thankfully he's got keys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's bad luck, and that's what happens with the paranormal. Sometimes when you have something that's angry, like John, bad things start to happen. Like right here, does it not feel cold? It feels really cold, actually. actually more like over here. But that's you been... should be feeling like... Yeah, Tommy, doesn't it feel even cooler like in this area? Kinda. Oh. Like in comparison to upstairs and outside. Kinda like over here. Yeah. Kinda I feel it on my face. Warmer. You feel warmer? I feel a cold on my face. I'm wearing gloves so I can't oh, feel yeah, my yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cooler my clothes, right here. Yeah. yeah. No, there's no way to see it. Yeah. Huh. As I came down the stairs, I'm like, man, it's much colder down here. So you were telling me... You're telling me this is not something paranormal right now? Like, what's causing this, these readings? It's going straight to red. Like, what's... The power is off here. It's not our phones. Or, off, or else we'll be going off like crazy elsewhere. No, it wouldn't be a <laughs> No. Hey, John, are you with us? John, make my K2 meter go to red. Oh, yours is... What's doing that? It's though? not power because otherwise it would be different. Right here. In this area right here. John, is that you? Make my go to red if it is. Oh, it seemed to respond on command. Like there's nothing here. Like you'd think, oh, if there was a router or a, like a control panel. Yeah, there's but there's no control panel around us. It is doing it over here as well. Look. When I was standing here in the doorway earlier, it was going crazy over here. There we go, look. Yeah. Look at this, over here as well. Crazy. Yeah. Let's check out, take a look over here in this room. Hey John, are you with us? Which is interesting, when I walked through here earlier, it didn't go off at all. Really? Yeah, I walked right by there. I'm pretty sure I had this on already, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the area you want to stay away from? Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, it's not even, go it's not yeah, even it's going off not here. Doing anything at all. Here, let's go by the router. So right now it's not going off near the router. Let's see how close we got to get to it. Look, that's how close you got to be. Yeah, you're right next to it. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. What was that? Did you just hear that? Yeah. I heard that earlier when I was in here. A growl? Kind of like a growl? Yeah. yeah. I. Whoa, it's funny you said that because when I was here alone, yeah. I heard that, but I thought it was I heard me. the exact same thing. I thought it was my tripod like because it shifted. Yeah. I thought it was that. I thought that was me. That's why I didn't really mention it in my video. All right, time to bring out the spirit box. Let's do this. All right, guys, it's time to bring out the spirit portal and see if we can communicate to John. I'm excited to see what kind of answers we get from this place. Apparently, a lot of EVPs have been recorded here, so I expect some good EVPs. Also, I haven't been down to the basement yet, and it's supposed to be pretty creepy, so this is going to be interesting. So, John, do you not like that these guys are here? We're getting some activity on the REM pod already. Hey, John. There's nothing to look for. No, no, and that's the green right now is proximity, but we're getting some of the yellow, which I think is physical touch, if I'm not mistaken. Here, I kind of want to try some. You got a REM pod on you as well, right? Yeah. You go set up your REM pod. Holy shit, we're getting something. <clears throat> Stop that, John! Angelo's REM pod is on the ground and it's not doing anything. What we're doing right now is trying to figure out what's causing my REM pod to go off like that. And... That's it. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. They are not on yet. Hey, John, can you stop that? 
want to see if it's if there's something there that's actually affecting it. You know what I mean? Oh, look at your K2 meter. Oh. So it's not whatever's there because yours is on the bench beside mine. It's not affecting yours. It's interesting if you notice the lights too. Look at the K2 meter. Dude. John is not gonna listen to you. No, he's, he, you can tell this is kind of like aggressive, right? Well, thank you, John. Can you make the other one do it too? Look at the K2, it's going off as well. There's energy here. So the whole fact that it stopped yeah. is telling you that something is left. An energy source is left. Yeah, 100%. So if, this, if there was something in the environment that were interrupting the electromagnetic field around that antenna, it would be continuous. Yeah. Oh, so that's the, that's the temperature, temperature change. Together. Yeah, temperature change on both. So you got room and temperature. Yeah. yeah, this is crazy, guys. I can't tell if the temperature is going on too. <clears throat> well, you know what? Since we have something here, let's turn on the spirit portal. Oh, what the fuck is that? But that's, that doesn't sound like a gunshot. Yeah. The same goes for radio signals. Sure. So if you do get anything through it, it's more compelling because of the electric radio Yeah, good point. Whoa. What is that? John! <laughs> Dude, look at our REM pods. They're going crazy. I'm just not happy with you guys, man. Somebody's mad. Holy shit. K2 going off. Both um, REM pods going off. Everything. Spirit portal was like, it sounded like someone shooting something. A, vo a voice is trying to get in. Yeah. Hey John, you gotta say something clearly. Hey John, are you with us? Hey John? Ooh. John, you gotta speak clearly now. Are you the one causing all this? Holy shit. There's just so much going on here right now. John, did these boys have your attention? It sure appears to be that way. What is that noise? It's it's strange that we're not getting any voices out of this thing right now. What if we put some cat balls in between everything? So Dude, I think we have enough tools I know, set up over here. Just to see even more and more, right? <laughs> and you guys That's aren't even in the gatehouse yet. You guys are in like... The outside of the game. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, oh my god. So, have you ever heard that before? Dude, it sounds like someone's screaming. That was fing terrifying. That's when I switched it to AM. Holy shit. Hey, John? Hey, talk to us, man. Oh. Oh. Deep, deep voice. Deep voice, yeah. You hear the whispers? Yeah. Yeah. Let's turn off, let's turn off the REM. What? Let's turn off the REM pod so we can actually hear yeah. the, what's coming out of the spirit. Oh, it's like they're focused in now at once. What? Yeah. Whoa. John, you can communicate to, with, uh, with us on this device. This is so creepy, but really cool at the same time. All right, REM pods are off. Sorry about the noise, but this is how we investigate. Oh, no. <laughs> so go back. Go back. Do you guys feel the floor shaking? Or is that a uh, uh, heating that just started up? Hey, John. You want to show yourself to us? You want to touch that cat ball that's on the table? Or the bench? The fact that we got some deep male tones. Same voice. 
Are you in any pain? Was that a yes? Stop it. Yeah, that was a stop it. What's wrong? What would happen if we slept here tonight? Do you hear that laughing? It's like a sinister laughing in the background. Oh. Who? Three of the sisters. And that was a female's voice that came through. Do we know their names? The John's entire family tree basically died here, and no one was able to carry on the name. John Baird! Oh, ho, ho. Talk to us. Hey John, we're gonna go inside now. I'm gonna try that. I'm going inside. What was that? What was that? You better go back. I heard that. You better go back. That was a, like an actual sentence, kind of. Sentence. Yeah. Go back again. Yeah, I heard that one. Look at the EMFs, I know, right? Yeah, Let's they're, go. they're going differently. Like John, where are you right now? Go back. You guys heard that go back? You hear that evil laugh? Yeah, yeah. Hey John, we're gonna take this. Oh my god. I was trying to say we're gonna take this device upstairs. Angela's in the other room now. Is that the same voice you hear in different uh, box, spirit boxes? With the static, it sounds different, more of a... We're getting... Oh, oh my god! Woo! Be gone! I don't know what that was, but he was mad. Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me, dude. How about you guys don't leave me alone with this fucking thing? John! That was a John. That was a John. I just want to show you guys how the K2 meter is reacting here. That one's going off, and so is this one. Oh, Jesus. It's always so scary when these damn voices just pop out of there. Hey, John, my name is Mo Sarji. This is Elliot, and Angela's actually on the other side of the house, and I know you don't like that. Dude, he said his name out loud in an aggressive way. Yeah. We're gonna take this device upstairs and talk to you there, okay? I'm gonna keep it running. You wanna hold it, actually? There you go, Elliot. We're taking the device upstairs. Man, I love this thing. Hey, John, we're coming upstairs. Oh my god, every time I come here, I feel really dizzy. Right? This, this is the room where I got dizzy and I got touched on my right shoulder. Back. But that was a female's voice. Alright guys, we're up in the room. This is where I felt dizzy and like something touched me on my right shoulder. Hey John, are you with us? So, I expect a lot of our tech to die very prematurely tonight because it's been pulling so much energy from these things. And that's how they build up on, on power too. 
John, are you misunderstood or were you actually someone that wasn't loved by everybody? We've established that John is here, and there's some a female voice as well, which Ellie believes is his sister's. His entire family tree did die here, and no one obviously came on the name. It's crazy that we're actually getting his aggressive voice on this device. I'm going to go ahead and turn this device off. I'm going to try one thing. I'm going to see if we can see John using the SLS camera. And uh, if we do, then uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty insane. So let's, uh, let's bust out the SLS camera. Before I bring out the uh, SLS, um, Elliot's telling us that, he did actually tell us this from before, is that a lot of the activity happened around here. Upstairs, we weren't really getting too much on the uh, spirit box, which is crazy. But let's see if we can get anything in here. So it'd be cool to see if John interacts with any of my gear. I don't have any of these turned on except the cat ball. John, can you touch the cat ball, please? Make the cat ball light up. If you make that cat ball light up, I'll give you a cookie. You have cookies? For John only. I'll trade you a cookie for a cat ball light. Someone's the uh, REM pod is going off. Oh, Wait, it's going to blue? Left. Really? Yeah, it's top now. Now it's an employee, and when I've had sessions with him, I talk about John Baird mistreating him, mm. and he doesn't like that. He gives off an awful vibe about that. Did John Baird mistreat you? He's loyal to his employer, even in the afterlife. Yeah. So you could, like, you know, people can't argue and say the REM pods are going off because of something in here. They would be going off right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, that thing is on up there, right? Are you John's employee? Temperature? Yeah. You see, that's it. When you hear a beep like that, yeah. it's significant. It is, huh? Yeah. It's not like it's settled just to one beep. Yeah. But when it's going off like that. Yeah. Then... Something's affecting it big time. This is so cool. This is just like hardcore paranormal evidence right here. I feel really dizzy. Holy sh! I, go. I feel really dizzy standing up there. Stairs is his spot. Like I imagine him like just chilling on that little sill. So then, if I use my SLS camera, you said you've used the SLS and you've never caught anything. I've left it here running overnight on a live feed and not a single thing. Really? Wow. Okay then. So if I capture something here on the stairs, then we got something, boys. Never had it on the stairs. Oh, okay, so let's do it. So what we're trying to do right now is I'm trying to switch batteries in the dark <laughs> on my SLS camera, and I don't think John likes that. I don't no. think he wants us to see see him. No one's ever seen him. Hey, why don't you make the one at the top of the stairs go off? All right, so I've got... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. okay. You just appeared out of nowhere. He's at the base of the stairs. Huh? Yeah, he's watching us. I don't know who this is. That just came out of nowhere and freaked me out. Still have he's still there dancing, like stepping up and up. Come over here and see. Oh, he's now. Yeah, as you stepped over, he disappeared. He was he slept on the ground and then disappeared. Hmm. It's mapping you now. So that tells us that this thing works. Let's see if we get anything at the top of the stairs. I think we're gonna need some light. Where are you? So something was here. Let's see what's over here. Where are you, John? Nothing. Yeah, it's like it just ran away. And you see how, how quiet it feels right now? So it's mapping out ends, though. Wait, what is this? Wait. Look, look. Look, 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 it's going off now and it's mapping out a figure on the staircase. 
a large figure too. Holy shit. I want to get it going up the stairs, that's what I want. Notice how it showed when the rem pod went off. Hey John, you want to show yourself, man? You notice this anytime we walk into the room? John, where are you? The fact that I'm getting nothing, guys, it means this thing is intelligent and it's coming and going as it pleases. Are you in this room, John? Are you in the office? Are you in this room where I felt nauseous? And I felt like something touching me? Show yourself. So I am sitting here in the office right now trying to see if I can map out John or the employee that was abused by John. Hey John, why did you abuse your employees? Oh, yeah, see? He does not like it when we come here for some reason. Are you pissed off, John? Are you angry? Make more noise than that if you want us to know you're angry. That's it. Come on, let us know you're angry. I hear the REM pod downstairs going crazy. But if I can actually capture this thing, I mean, I did a couple times, once going up the stairs, once in that room. That REM pod downstairs is going crazy. Oh, it's, it's going insane, dude. So it must be why I'm not getting anything up here. Yeah. He's downstairs. Uh... Yeah, he, he's he's downstairs. Yeah. Oh, he's right at the base of the stairs, and he... You went that way, he went your way. Oh. He went your way. Oh, I just got chills like, right in my back. It followed me this way? It was there? It's going to rely solely on SLS camera footage. We can kind of turn on the lights. This thing ain't going to work that well in the dark. There we go. Are you in the kitchen making a coffee? Are you sitting here like by I'm the bench where you're giving up a lot somehow. of activity oh, earlier? Save See? yourself. Ooh, and it just got really cold around me too. So the fact that I'm not getting anything, it shows that the SLS camera does in fact work and it maps out actual figures that we cannot see with our own eyes. And this is clear, clear proof that this thing is not bullshit. He's smart. He's figuring out what we're doing. All right, man, go up the staircase. Show yourself. Oh shit! He's here, knocking on the wall right there in the corner by that desk. See where the power drill is? Yeah, he, and he's gone. He was just here by that old table. That old table. That one there. He's not that tall. Come on back. If you notice, he keeps coming and going, coming and going. It's not like he's staying in one spot. Like sometimes you map out on these SLS cameras. All right, you're not going upstairs anymore. You shall not pass. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Shit. He's sitting right on this table here in the corner. And it looks like he's trying to move, pick the table up. I'm not even joking. Elliot, come on over here slowly. Angel, you don't move. I don't want you to move. Elliot, get over here. Look at this. He's trying to pick up that table. It's almost like he's angry that Angel is blocking the way. You see that? He came towards us just now. It... it Dude, he's trying to pick up the table. I kid you not. Does that not look like he's trying to pick up the table? Yeah. He's trying to climb up the table to get up there. Talk to him. Talk to him. Tell him that you cannot go. I can't go. Or you can't go. He's sitting right on it. Yeah. Why don't you come right in front of me? If you come right here, maybe I'll get a way for you. Go to the base of the... Oh, he just ran into here. Really? Yeah, he ran into here. Are you going through the kitchen? If he comes out that door over there, I'm shitting my pants. Right. He's back now. Come right here. He's back now. It looks like he's trying to get back up on the table and he's struggling. Yeah, that's what it looks like, dude. Holy crap. All right, John. 
Angelo, you should come back down now and let him through. John, we're going to let you through, okay? Angelo's going to come over here where we are. That's the upstairs one. The fact that... Yeah, is that's, it? A, that's the upstairs one, yeah. No. Yeah. No, that, the one, the one yeah, it is the upstairs one. Doing anything. I can see it from it here. It is. The Brennan was thrown off upstairs, too. Yeah. I've been dealing with REM pods for years. I've never seen this before. Like two? Two well, going off the, the same amount time. of REM activity you have going on. Yeah. You're talking yeah. about, you know, an energy source breaking an electromagnetic field around an antenna. That's the upstairs one proximity, it's green. Holy that's shit. Both. That's both, yeah. that's and that's temperature. He's up there then. Wow. Anything on there? Dude, if he appears at the top of the stairs, I'm gonna be happy. John, get up on the stairs, man. We're friends at this point. I've seen you naked. I just heard something. What do you hear? I don't know, I just, it sounded like it was from down there though. It sounded like a door or something. It's amazing how he was always focused to that table. That's a really old table, by the way. I wonder if that's part of this house. Like, it's oh, always... that would be an original. The curator piece. It is it original? It would be an original piece. So shit, man, he might be attached to that table. Yeah. You make that stop upstairs. <gasps> As that happened, he appeared right here, right in front of the table again, and and he, and he disappeared for a brief second. Is this desk part of this house? Probably. That one would be yeah. original. Probably. Probably yeah. And the Kate, the REM pod was going off when we had it on the desk. Have you guys noticed a correlation here? He doesn't like us touching his original things. Mm -hmm. Well, we did have the two cameras on there too. Yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't want us touching yeah. his old objects. We come like around this way. Oh, there you go. See, pre set it off. Yeah. But no, it doesn't. But he, yeah. That's interesting. Holy shit. <laughs> that is so cool. Stand back here and see. It seems like it's getting faster. It is. You're right. Yeah. Are you touching it? Show yourself, John. Are you trying to send us a message? What if we bring the uh, the spirit box up here? Amazing. It's, a, it's amazing how he's not appearing up here. Yeah. He's local. He's like stuck downstairs somehow. Well, those are living quarters. I don't think John would be up there. Huh? The, the, the employee, like the feel is that he's very shy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Start recording. Start recording. He's in the office. He's in the office. You see him in the office? He's in the office. He's right there. He just appeared. It's the first time I've seen him in here today. Oh. The red pod downstairs is going off. The red pod up here is going crazy. Elliot, are you in that room? So, so this is interesting. The way this is tr going off, all of them are going off. Blue, yellow, purple, and what I'm capturing is moving to the sounds. He's reacting to the sounds. Do a little dance for you. Yeah, but he's standing on the bookcase. That's crazy. Okay, so that's great. Do you think this is the employee? Why is it going it's, off like that? I don't know. Is that mine or yours? That's mine. What he's the like, hell? He's in a fetal position now. Like he's scared. Maybe he doesn't like the noise. Wow, this is awesome. Nothing here now. Nothing here. Does it come back? Let's see. Come back! That's crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, for real. And you know, we've had times where we've gotten nothing on these fucking things. Yeah, for like, real. Nothing. And welcome back to another paranormal investigation late at nighttime here in the middle of nowhere. So, we are doing a ghost hunt inside of this haunted mill. And this place is pretty, pretty haunted. We've been investigating the gatehouse, as you guys know from the last video. It's actually almost midnight right now, but before we get inside, Elliot is gonna tell us what's going on here, what's happening here, what kind of paranormal stuff he's encountered here and others have encountered. Elliot is telling us the lights in here should not be on. And they're all motion sensors, so. Yeah, so for, 
for two decades, the lights here have been turning on and off by themselves. I've actually captured it, and you actually hear the switch being turned on. Really? On and then off. It only happened one night. I leave live feeds running here all the time just to capture the poltergeist type activity that's reported here. And this is objects moving, not a negative entity. Furniture moves here all the time, so the staff will leave, turn on the alarm, come back in the morning, and all sorts of things are out of place. From the walking sticks, the chairs, the piano stool is a big one. And this is Ethel's piano. Ethel, who's Ethel? So John Baird built this mill in the 1830s. Now, he ran it down, he lost it in a lawsuit, and it remained empty from around 1850s up until Robert Tate McKenzie purchased it to turn it into a summer home. Now, it was abandoned for, you know, nearly 60 years. And in that time, we have no idea, you know, what became of it. We, we do know that Robert Tate McKenzie and James Naismith, who invented basketball, played here in their youth in the abandoned mill. And that's oh, why cool. Robert Tate McKenzie later purchased it and turned it into a summer home. They were like OG explorers that way. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind of paranormal stuff have you caught here, like on camera? Well, I, I should go back to when the paranormal activity was first, you know, reported or documented. So, William Lyon Mackenzie King, our spiritualist prime minister, performed seances here. And inside, there's a letter from Sir Robert Borden, another prime minister, stating he's sorry he cannot make it for the communion with spirits in the morning. Oh, wow. So, so he this, knew of the seance. Yeah, so, so this was one of the locations where William Lyon Mackenzie King opened up that spiritual door okay so they were trying to communicate with the spirits of the mill from the Baird family right and here we are today trying to communicate with Robert Tate McKenzie and Ethel wow and so, eventually someone's gonna try to communicate with us when we die so in the 1970s this was turned into the museum and the Ottawa Journal wrote an article talking about the activity of Ethel the spirit of Ethel so when the renovation workers were working here, their tools kept moving around. So much so that it was reported to the news and it was put in the paper. Which is interesting to have a 50-year-old news article talking about the ghosts of this mill. That's so cool. Every staff here has experienced the activity here. From doors opening and closing, things moving around like I mentioned, voices, hearing music, Ethel playing the piano. So Robert Tate McKenzie is why we have physical education in schools today. He was a doctor. He was a medic in the First World War, and he's a beautiful artist, as you'll see inside all the wonderful pieces that he created, and he still works up there today. Footsteps are constantly heard up oh, on wow. the top floor, and this is the gallery right here, where the lights are on. When was the last time anybody experienced anything paranormal in here? A month ago. And what did you experience? Uh, we got footsteps. Um, so what I do is I leave overnight live feeds, because that's when most of the activity is reported. Yeah. So when they lock up at night, they come in in the morning, stuff's moved around. So I leave live feeds on randomly when I feel like it. It's close to home, so I come here, set up the live feed, put it on social media. Um, pictures falling off the wall, footsteps, voices. Sometimes I'll leave a spirit box running all night long. Oh, wow. Um, you know, a lot of really cool stuff. And I think you guys, after what just happened over at John Barrett's Gatehouse, uh, will probably get a lot here. If you guys didn't see that other video that we just did out here on the property at the Gatehouse, it was crazy. We got so much real paranormal activity. Link is going to be down below. Go watch it. Also, I'm going to leave a link for Elliot. Um, go give him a follow and support his page. Uh, he's helping us a lot by doing this video. What do you guys say we jump on inside right now? I just got into the mill and what I'm looking at is unbelievably crazy and unbelievably cool but I just noticed something very terrifying already wait <laughs> the door just propped open it's what's on the door that I noticed guys look at this what the hell is that thing what is even that Holy crap. 
That thing is massive. Holy moly. Wait, what's going on with this door? Does this door usually open and close itself? Oh, what the hell? The lights just went off. Okay, I'm freaking out now. Guys. That's not you moving this No, way? it's not you. No, I've literally been standing here thinking it was you guys. Literally not you. Nope. The door literally opened itself and closed and then it opened again. It could be the wind. No, there's not that much wind to be honest. Elliot. Do you see what's on the door? Holy shit, Angela, you gotta get inside and see this. What is it? The biggest spider I've ever seen in this country. Walking into this mill, first impression, it's pretty scary. Like, there is a, a weird vibe. Not sure it's because there's a river back there and water flowing. You guys know the paranormal is amplified by water. It's used as a type of element. If you're a spiritual person, you know all about that. But check this place out. The person that invented basketball, basically right here, I didn't expect to see this in the mill, just walking in, in an old haunted mill. As Elliot said, at some point in time, this place was abandoned, but now it's not. But look at this, there's like this big stone here, which could be why there is paranormal activity in here because stones like this could be ha could have some type of crystal inside of them. And uh, you know, these things could amplify the spirituality of the area. This is so cool. And, and obviously we got a tombstone. This is a real tombstone. And apparently at some point in time, Somebody was using this tombstone to prop up their porch and their house in the area. And it's a tombstone of a guy named Robert Young. And he died pretty young, actually. He was 28 years old when he died. This is one of the original basketball nets. Look at this. Made of metal, iron. So many objects in here that could have paranormal attachments to them. And uh, there's a lot more going on upstairs. We're gonna be investigating this place with lights off, but I'm gonna show this to you guys with lights on. They just literally have tombstone laying around. <laughs> yeah, right? When the tombstone is so old, it's yeah. laying around, right? There. Yeah. Use it to prop up porches. Huh. All right, wish me luck. I'm going upstairs alone. Go upstairs, look at this old basketball court. This guy was the inventor of basketball, a Canadian guy. Isn't that cool? All right, here we go. Going upstairs by myself. Pray for me, wish me luck. Now I am gonna be using my tech in here. But later on throughout the investigation, first I want to establish that this place is in fact haunted and there is something going on here. Look at this. So old and historic. I wonder if all the stuff here is original to this place. So this is a museum, by the way, and a haunted one from what I'm told. This is a really unique location because not only is it historic, but things that are historic like this bring about the paranormal. It's almost like they're attached to everything. Attached to the walls. I got this dude over here just chilling. I do get this creepy vibe in here though. And apparently there's a, a female, like a girl, that roams around this place. And this was her bedroom at one point in time. The bed is not here right now, it's actually up in the attic and they've dismantled it because they don't want people sleeping on it. But apparently when you sleep on it, paranormal activity starts to happen. And I'm pretty sure this is the girl over here, Ethel O'Neill McKenzie. That is her, born 1880, died 1958. The fact that I'm standing here in history right now is uh, pretty surreal, guys. Believe it or not, they made this HP monitor back in 1882. We got an old historic room over here with an old piano. This is probably the oldest piano that I've seen. An old, so there's so much going on here. There could be so many paranormal attachments to each individual object here. It's like a, a paranormal soup that's happening. That light just turned on. The upstairs light just turned on. That wasn't on. Who's upstairs? When I walked in here, that light was not on. Yep, definitely not on. What is going on upstairs? I don't have any of my tech. Well, I do have my K2 meter actually. Weird. This light just turned on. Guys, anybody up here? They're both downstairs. Whoa. Look at this place. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the crap out of me. Take a look at all this art, all these statues. 
There's so much going on here. These were all made in here, apparently. So who or what turned on that light? Because that light was not on. I'm not, I'm pretty sure, I, didn't, I like I'm pretty sure when I walked into that second floor room, that light was not on and it literally turned on and caught my attention. So something literally would have had done that. <gasps> Jesus Christ. What the hell just moved over here? <laughs> I'm on the edge. Just being up here alone, it's pretty freaky, man. Yeah, okay. We got something. We got something. It feels different than the first floor. First floor felt kind of creepy, but up here, the vibes are different. Everything's kind of changed now. There's so much going on here, so many objects. Uh, that canoe, that, that sculpture over there, this thing over here, whatever the hell it is. There, the, every one of these things could have some type of paranormal attachment. Now, I don't know if it's negative. I haven't heard of anybody getting injured or hurt up here, but it's still pretty creepy. So let's investigate it. Let's go get all my gear and do an investigation. Yo, yeah. when, did, when you came up here, did, was that light on? Is that on a sensor or anything? Okay, wait, before you tell me a story, let me tell you one thing. So I walked into here and that light was not on. So I'm standing by the piano, just chatting, talking to, what, uh, to, my, uh, to my audience and the light turned on. So we, Sat here one night yeah. having an EVP session. Nobody here, just me and uh, two of my guys. And that light just turned on by itself. We searched for a switch everywhere, everywhere, and we eventually found it. And you know where we found it? Where? In this closet. No. This is the switch for it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's Kirby. <laughs> I'm on edge because. <laughs> so how the hell did it turn on? That's the question. It's just the, the lights that turn on here. We had no idea. They're attached to a switch, no motion sensor. Dude, this is crazy because I heard yeah. no I heard no switch. Like look at how significant that is. I know. We would have heard that. We didn't even hear it. No, it no. just turns on by itself. And like I said, we oh. searched for a solid half an hour. Yeah. Like, where the hell is the switch to this light? Whoa. <laughs> and it's inside the closet. And Angelo and I were downstairs when you were up here. You're by yourself. Yeah, I thought one of you guys was upstairs, so that's why I went up there. I'm like, okay, feeling all no, brave. We were Someone's up there. The whole time. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. I started on this floor, and then I went down. You went up. This is amazing. You know why? Because it's 12, 11 a.m. right now, mm -hmm. and we're already getting some good stuff. I mean, we we started early at the other place, and we got a lot of good stuff. And I'm hoping we can do that here. All right, I gotta sit down and process this a little bit. Gonna be uh, bringing up my. Ghost gear, bug on me. Oh, the book's back. I'm gonna bring up my ghost gear, spirit portal, try to communicate with Ethel. Maybe it's Ethel. I wonder if it is Ethel. The spirits here are extremely hospitable, right? So It doesn't feel evil. Like one time I was having an EVP session and my stomach crumbled and we get a female voice. Would you like something for that? No. Like they're very hospitable. They like having company, they like having guests. This is Ethel's piano. This is the stool that comes out at nighttime. They'll come in in the morning and find the stool here. Really? I really want to kind of like relive what you what you said happened with you. I want us to sit around here, maybe put the spirit portal on the table, and try to talk to something. Elliot was telling us a lot of the furniture in here is original, which, as I said earlier, paranormal attachments to these objects. Also, did you guys know that they made these back in 1880? No, bro, that's the 1860 model. Really? About oh, I guess that. I was wrong. We're about to uh, kind of recreate the seance that they did like over 100 years ago. And uh, it was a long time ago. I actually have my REM pod sitting here on the mantle. It's on right now and it's not going off. And it was going crazy in that other house. And that means we had some real paranormal activity over there. Right now, we're not getting anything on it. And we're going to try to communicate with something, kind of like a seance with the spirit box. So this should be really interesting. Isn't it crazy how both the rep pods are not going off right now? No. Nope. It just tells you that they're not defective. No. And I literally just changed the battery on that one, so I put a brand new battery in. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on in that place. Well, I do. There's something I mean, paranormal. I mean, no, but... Oh, there you go. Spoke too soon. On the piano. Yeah. Calling any spirit that wants to communicate with us in this really old, haunted place. 
We welcome you to join us. Is that mine? That's, that's, that's my REM pod now. The temperature's it's changing on that. It is, yeah. Yeah. And this whole time they've been quiet. Nobody else was here to speak. A woman? Is there a woman here? some activity on the REM pod over there. And you know when that happened when I started saying did someone die here? Is that those piano seat? Who's touching who's touching the REM pod? That's yellow, blue. All the sensors are going off. Physical touch. Something close to it. Now we're getting somewhere. We just gotta be patient, that's all. Hey Ethel, I'm gonna shut this thing off now. And I'm gonna try to communicate with you in a different way. We got REM pod activity right on the piano. That's crazy. Ethel, that's you. Can you make it stop for us? Yo, John's here. You know how I know? Look at the, the distinct way that it's going off. The same way it was going off in his house. Right? That really fast, cluttery, clustery way. Like, get the hell out of here, get the hell out of here, get the hell out of here. But it's interesting how mine isn't going off. Ethel, that's you. Turn it off on the count of three. One, two, three. John, your turn. On the count of three. If you want to let us know you're here, turn off on the count of three. One, two, three. John never wants to listen to nobody. Stop it! It's I'll give you a cookie. Smart thinking, Elliot. Play some keys for her. If it is Ethel, she, it might calm her down. Cal calm down, Ethel. Dude, that's so creepy, even though that we're doing it. That should not be going off like that, man. Let me try putting my REM pod there and see what happens. Well, your REM pod is doing its own thing now. Oh shit, it is. I thought that was yours. No. Okay. So, so the thing about the temperature, right? Mm -hmm. So this is reading hot temperature as you yeah. see a red light. So there's a heat trigger in the sensor coming from somewhere. Yeah. This is an unheated building. And it's and pretty it's cold in here, to be honest. As we're getting moving into late at night, yeah. the only drafts would be cold. So where's the heat coming from? Look, it's doing it again. I'm going to put this... I'm gonna switch this out with yours, Angelo. This is some real paranormal stuff right here. Let's see if mine goes off here. 
All right, spirits of this room, set off my REM pod like you were Angelo's. Hoping, peace and quiet, finally. Hoping we get something. It might happen instantly, it might, what the f is that? What? At the window. What? What was that? What did you see? Just, there was just something outside the window. What floor are we on? Oh, we're one story up. So what the f did I just see? Well, My camera was, I don't know, something moved outside of the window. Are the trees moving? Uh, no, 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 trees no, they're pretty still. And the door is breaking low. What? Guys, I literally seen something. Just go by the window. So even though I'm not getting anything on mine, it tells us that it's not a malfunction with Angelo's. We're just not getting. Yeah, they're both not getting anything at all now. It moved on, whatever it was. I switched over to night vision now, and uh, I'm going full darkness, hoping I can capture something on the night vision camera. Now this is gonna be creepy because I cannot see a damn thing. And uh, yeah, this is. Uh, man <gasps> Jesus Christ what is that all right it begins so from what I know is there aren't any evil spirits in here it's just Ethel and something else and they're usually like more hospitable and friendly but still it's pretty terrifying to just walk around in the darkness going back into the piano room hopefully I can capture something in Ethel's room I feel like something is breathing down my shoulders like actually, can you make my K2 meter go off? Now, if you guys remember earlier, my REM pod wasn't going off. It just heat changes, but I was getting some hits on the K2 meter in front of the piano just now and it stopped. Oh, yeah, that might've been me though. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Elliot's downstairs waiting for us. Oh, hey, okay. Okay, we got temperature change on the REM pod. REM pod is getting some activity right now. Can you touch the REM pod and make it go to green? The light on the REM pod is flickering. Something was changing the temperature of it. And it is pretty cold in here because it's getting later at, in the dark right now. <clears throat> it's warm outside, but you know, the temperatures do drop at nighttime, especially because we're right by a river. Up there is Ethel's bed. Yeah. And apparently it's very active. And it's dismantled right now. It's in a million pieces. Always so creepy doing this in night vision, man. I don't know why we do this, but it just adds a scare factor to the videos. And especially you guys- Especially when you turn and there's a statue in every corner. <laughs> when you turn, yeah, there's a statue, but when you turn in the hallways and you cannot see what's around the corner. Like, it's it's pure fear, it's crazy. Oh. I wonder if that's actual, um... I think that's the... Of course it stopped, right? Yeah. What's doing that? Touch the REM pod again. What the f is that? I don't know, that came from upstairs. That was upstairs? Yeah. Were you recording the whole thing? Yeah, I just recorded that. Did that actually just happen? Uh, I'm fucking shaking right now. Where's... Um... Elliot! It sounded like a basketball. Yeah. Which would be downstairs, no? I just, I just thankfully... Elliot? Elliot! Where's Elliot? Mm -hmm. Was that you banging? No, I'm reading the rules of basketball. Huh? Seriously, you're not banging. Huh? Dude, I just got this on camera. Did you drop it like a basketball or something? Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this back for you. Angel, did you record on that? No, I, well I caught like the last two seconds. That came from right above us. Like... Right above us, somebody playing basketball. Shut up. I'm not even for joking. Real, dude. We literally heard. It sounded like a metal thing as well, right at the end. 
Yeah, it's sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this back. No, it sounded like somebody running full blown running, and then sounded like a basketball dribble at the end. You don't understand. We were literally standing there looking at each other, and all we hear is. I'm just being here alone, so I don't know. I'm not surprised. It's just funny. Everything is a basketball. It sounded it sounded like a basketball at the end. At first, I I thought it was someone running. And that's what it sounded like, someone running really, really fast upstairs, right above us. Mm -hmm. That was wild. That's probably why I didn't hear it. If you heard it yeah. from the third, I would not hear it here. You were, where were you? I was, should we go I see if something like fell? Yeah, Seriously? we should We should go to the third floor. But dude, that came, we were standing right over here. This is exactly where we were standing. Let's stand here and listen in again. Yeah. Oh my god, what's going on? What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Something just touched me. Something just fucking touched me. It's cold. It was really cold. And it scared me. It sh I I can't shake it out of my mind that something upstairs was running across the fucking beams. Like full blown running. And I was thinking about that and then something touched me. Yeah. Uh, we need to go up there. Huh? We need to go up there right now. Dude, it's not like this. It's not like. Yeah, pretty much. That's Should what be the kid. Oh, maybe. It did sound, sound like a childlike type of run, but it was a run. It was 100% a run and then basketball, basketball right dribble. Right at the end, it sounded like it hit something metal. That was fear right there. That, what I experienced was actual paranormal fear. Dude, it's like, <laughs> I thought it was Elliot knocking on a door. Yeah. I thought he was then, locked out. You weren't no, locked no, out, were you? Dude, we're doing an investigation. What? Like, why would he be... Yeah, like, I thought for a second you went outside and you got locked out and you were knocking on the door. We're sitting here reviewing the, the footage. On the, these Sony night vision cameras, the audio is not the greatest, uh, but I'd have to amplify it on my editing software. Mm -hmm. And I did capture something. You could hear something running upstairs, but we missed the full of it because we were... Me and Angel were just packing up our stuff and we're about to get the hell out of here. And Elliot's downstairs waiting for us to finish. A friend Elliot has given us access to this place. We've been here all night long, all by ourselves. Me, Angelo, and Elliot doing paranormal investigations in different locations. We've been filming so much that we've caught so much paranormal activity in this one night than I have in such a long time. I'm so happy because of it. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'm going to link them down below. But now we're about to investigate something a little bit different on this property. There's this haunted shack in the woods. You heard me right. A haunted shack and it's in the woods and supposedly apparitions have been seen inside. But before we do that, we're going to investigate the haunted chapel. Now, um, no one's really investigated the chapel. We're going to be the first people to do so um, ever. So that's really awesome. I'm going to get Elliot to tell us a little bit about the history of this, what's going on with it, and why they believe this place is haunted. This is a chapel. Okay. <laughs> the end. First things first, let's just say congratulations to Elliot because he got married here recently at this chapel. Look how cool this is. Really historic. How old is this place? It's over 100 years old. Dang. And it has never been investigated. But people have experienced paranormal happenings all over this conservation area. So why would this be any different? Exactly. Mm -hmm. People don't tend to come up here because it's pitch black at night. It's hard to see your way. And it's on the top of the hill. Now, I thought before you go to the haunted cabin that you should come here and say a prayer anyways. So you might as well just check it out. Well, we are going to need a prayer after all the paranormal stuff we've encountered in this place today. This place is super active and it's probably because it's so historic and there's so much left behind here. Is it weird that my ears, my left ear is ringing like crazy right now? Well, they say that's a sign of spirit around you. Shit. Yeah, they're speaking to you. Yeah, as you were telling your story, my ear just started ringing. So, this is a really old chapel. I've never seen a chapel like this before. There's no walls. This is one-sided wall. It kind of reminds me of something from Mexico. Yeah, it's right? It looks like a mini castle. Yeah, it's like a mini castle. Place is cool. Elliot actually got married here, which is really, really amazing. 
It, it does have like a medieval charm to it as well. Scratch the Mexican part. I think the more medieval than anything. Look at this. Whoa. Hear ye, hear ye. I hereby anoint you, Angelo, Knight of the Shire. Do you accept this challenge? All right, congratulations, you have a boy. This is cool. Um, let's see if we can find something paranormal here. Maybe if we get some spikes on the EMF. Yeah, it's really, as you guys can see, it's super dark. Are there any spirits connected to this chapel? Talk to us. Use this device in my hand to illuminate the LEDs. You know, it might be good if we don't get anything. Because if we go to the haunted shack, where he's saying he's seen an apparition, and we do get something there, that tells us that the chapel is not actually haunted. I mean, it's a place of worship, right? Take a look at how cool it looks from out here, kind of like castle-like. Oh, Mo, you remember when you were in the basement and the lights just turned off? Yeah. That was like, what, maybe five minutes or something? It's not on. They're supposed to be off, right? They're still on. They're so the we left the haunted mill and it's actually you can see it you can see the lights. If Angelo turns off his light we'll be able to see it properly. There you go. Out in the distance out in the distance those are the lights at the mill and they're supposed to be off. We just left there, they're motion activated. Like after five minutes they turn off. And we've been gone for way longer. Yeah, you can kind of see the light th out there in the distance. We've been gone for longer than five minutes, so they're, they're supposed to be off, those lights. If you didn't see the last video that we did at the mill, we had something paranormal happen. All night long, subtle stuff, but right at the end, it almost sounded like somebody run through the attic. Elliot was downstairs, both Angel and I were putting away our gear when it happened, so I had just turned on my camera just to capture some of it, and I managed to capture some of the running on on uh, camera, which is pretty insane. There's something in this place. There you go, you can see that the light in the mill is on right now. That should be off, holy shit. So there's something causing it to stay on. <clears throat> and we seen all the lights, guys. We actually had to tape the lights and the sensor so they would stay off the entire night because they're motion activated only. You can turn them on by hand, but they're just gonna turn back off after five minutes, which we actually did see them do that when we were there. But now they're just staying completely on, which is... Oh, 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 I just seen it. What the hell? Dude. Dude. I got it on camera, did you? Yeah. Oh, I got the shivers, dude. It turned off and on, which is... Oh, 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 which is... Oh, oh, oh. It's like something is like... Directly in front of the Elliot, we just got the light turning off and then back on yeah. instantly. The, the top, the one. top one. In the mill. Robert Tate's heard it work. And that's where we heard the running come from, right? Yeah. Wow. It just turned off and on. Yep. So the, there's some sort of motion that's keeping it from shutting yeah. down. So, yeah, something paranormal is moving in there. There's no one. So no one's supposed to be in there. All right, guys, it's literally 2.30 a.m. right now, and we're in the, the woods that have bears in them. I'm not even joking, it's 2.30. Finding our way to this shack where apparently Elliot has seen an actual person go through it when he was the only one here. So I'm hoping this is the right trail, and this gets us to where we're going. Elliot is hanging back at the car in the parking lot. And uh, it's just Angelo and I. The vibes here are just really spooky. Oh, yeah. Keep in mind, these are haunted lands. Very. Apparently, um, there's a lot of natives that were buried on this land in the past. And uh, they could be why this shack is haunted. But we'll figure it out. You know me, I always figure things out. What's going on? Really? Yeah. If I, like, so, like, I don't know, like, I, I came here during the afternoon, yeah. and I just looked at it, took a couple of b-rolls of this place, mm -hmm. but if I didn't try to investigate it, if like, during the investigation, I deem it like, okay, there's something going on here, I'll uh, go back to the car and grab my, my tools, yeah, yeah. and uh, we're getting eaten yeah, alive by mosquitoes and June, June bugs, yeah, I know, there's, there's bugs everywhere, oh look, there it is, is that it?
Uh, yeah, that's uh, it. I believe so. Whoa, it's even creepier at nighttime. For a second, I thought there was light, lights on inside. So Elliot said he'd seen like a white figure, like a yeah. full apparition, go through it. Dude, this is so creepy. It's just some shack in the woods. So what's the deal with this cabin over there? So running from the mill, there's a path you can follow the river and eventually you're gonna hit a millstone and that's where the ghost of Ethel sits and reads poetry. Here? Yes, and this cabin is on the way. And in all of the places I've been to, I've never seen an apparition. I've seen shadow people, but never like a person. Yeah. And I was here and through that window, I saw a person walking by. Oh, wow. And then I was with my business partner, Eric. I'm like, Eric, there's someone in there. He's like, no, there's not. And he started walking through. I said, there's somebody there. They just walked by again. Goes inside, nobody there. Oh. I tried to debunk it, <laughs> looking at the sunlight, everything. Yeah. It was a full white shirt person walking by inside the cabin. So Ethel, you said, right? No. Well, I don't know. We, right? They don't know. I, don't know. I wonder if my SLS camera will pick up on anything here. So at the end of our ghost hunting event here, I send people through the path back to the parking lot. And this is one of the investigation shops. And about 80% of people will not, they, they, like my footage that they give me after, they walk by, this, oh my, it, it has a bad vibe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This little cabin here stirs up some ghosts. I don't even want to go in just yet. So apparently from this angle here, Elliot was way up there. He had seen some type of figure pass through the window, seen him clear as day. And he had a friend with him that had seen it as well, so. Man, this is so creepy. Our job here tonight is to figure out what it is that's haunting the cabin. But we also gotta try not to get eaten by a bear, because there are bears. Look at this, it's pretty creepy. Whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we got something here. Let's go inside and check this out. These readings are like just non-stop too. Yeah, it's going straight to red. Oh my God, the closer I get, the more red it gets. You look at this, it's just going off the charts. Dude, look at this, this is so cool. Well, the EMF meter is definitely going crazy in here. So we are getting some type of activity. Keep in mind, we are by the river, and that means amplified spiritual activity because of the elements, wind, fire, water, they can affect anything spiritual. I wonder if there's something in here that's causing this place to be haunted. I'm gonna climb up there. Looks like there's like a, a bunk bed or a bed or something. A nest? What kind of nest? I'm gonna climb up there. Alright. What's that? I just heard that. Something just broke. You heard that too, yeah? That was loud. It's like somebody snapped a tree in half. What the hell was that? What? I don't know. That, what was that? I'm hearing something in here. I was about to climb upstairs. Try to see if there's some sort of clue to why this shack is haunted. It's not the biggest shack, but it's still pretty creepy. All right, I'm gonna go up there. Whoa! What? Wait, literally just attacked by this June bug right Just now. be careful, because there's nails everywhere. I mean, this is pretty cool, dude. Yeah. We're in a shack in the woods. Here's what I'm thinking. What? I can't see any object in here that is what's affecting the paranormal activity in here, mm -hmm. but the EMF is going crazy. Is it still going off? It, here, it's off in my pocket right now, actually. I can feel it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Still going straight to red. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking the shack itself isn't what's haunted. Mm -hmm. 
I'm thinking someone who ever nailed the roof in here or the wood did some type of black magic. Like put a type of nail in here that they had done something to and they hammered the nail in to seal the deal. When it comes to nails and magic, people use that. You just don't know what they could have put in to the walls, right? Fuck, there's spiders everywhere up here. But what I am gonna do is gonna, gonna go back to the car and grab my SLS camera and see if I can see some sort of figure inside of the shack. Maybe spirit box, communicate mm -hmm. with it. We've been using our gadgets and tools all night long in this place and we've been getting some crazy results. So why not in here, in the haunted shack in the woods? This is cool, I want this. Like I actually want this shack for myself. How awesome is that? You can't have it, you gotta build your own. Fun, I will. Sounds good. And then for <laughs> some sort of Of course there was a giant bug on the lens as you were doing that. Really? <laughs> yeah. God. That's so funny. <laughs> what are the odds of that? It says Tom right here. Oh wow. Tom and Cat forever. All right guys, I've set up a REM pod in the corner of the shack. I do have my SLS camera, which I'm gonna be scanning, hoping to capture something in here. Sounds good, I brought a fork. A fork? You never know when you might need a fork. All right, I've got the SLS scanning in here. What's in the shack? Is there anything in here with us? What was that? That came from outside. Let's go outside for a second. Let's see. Oh! 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 It was right behind that window. Yeah. That's where it was happening when we caught. Which was interesting because we heard that noise. It was like all simultaneous. Yeah. We heard the noise, the thing popped up in the SOS, and then that went off. I wonder if there's anything up there. Let's get some light up there. Where are you? Show yourself. Dude, that's so crazy that it's not here now. I'm looking through the window. I'm not how I seen it earlier. Oh shit! It's right there on that window. Trying to, it looks like it's trying to get out or open a window or something. What the hell is that thing? Dude, it's like trying to come see this. It's like it's trying to open the window. Oh, yeah. Right. What the hell is going on? <laughs> that you know what's funny is because Elliot said he's seen an apparition yeah, right at the know. window. He and said he saw a woman, right? I don't know. Uh, he said it was a guy, I think. I don't, yeah. Honestly, I don't know. He said it was white. Uh, which was from this window, I think. What if you stand outside facing this way? and see if I can get it. Yeah. But why aren't I mapping this thing out on the inside? Oh shit! Whoa. Red pod's going off. Oh shit. Notice how that June bug is yeah. flying right by the red pod and it's oh, not going off? Anything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Stuff crazy. What's in here? But you know, the thing is, is, is it's getting it on the glass. And the glass is like a, you know, glass acts like a portal, just like a mirror. Yeah. So I'm going to go back outside. I'm going to see if I can see anything from outside. Switching over to a different view so you guys can see through the forest, kind of. So, uh, yeah. So this is kind of what we're looking at here is the shack. And Elliot had seen an apparition through the window, which I'm not getting anything right now out here. Show yourself. Oh. Oh.
Something move where? This is cool. This, this thing is it's clearly playing with us. It's moving around. And it actually makes sense because Elliot is saying that when he saw it, it was really brief and quick, but he saw it clear as day. And what we're seeing is we're seeing a, a figure of some sort showing up briefly. I'm back in your shack. Touch the REM pod. I'm gonna look through the window again. So it's not here now. Oh wait, it's back. Yeah, right. No, on on the other side. Jesus. Yeah, there's big bugs out here. <laughs> there's so it, many. It's gone now. Now it's mapping out Angelo. What is going on here? Can you show yourself? We just want to communicate with you. We just want to talk. We want to know what you are. Are you John Baird? Are you still the same person from the other previous videos we did here? John? Show yourself. It's amazing how we're not getting anything right now. So whatever this thing is, it's coming, it's going. It might be John, it might be something else that's not intelligent. So here's the thing, we just caught something on the SLS, it was brief every time, and that tells us that there's something coming and going, coming and going. Um, the SLS camera has worked phenomenally since we've been out here. My camera, by the way, is covered in bugs, they're attracted to the light. REM pod is going off, we even have the REM pod go to green and blue and yellow. So there's definitely something attached to the shack. We don't know what it is, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna get the spirit box and try to communicate with it. So at some points I was getting the figure right at this window and then sometimes standing in front of this window. So what you might've seen, you've seen it through that window, right? Yeah. The little tiny one. So maybe what you'd seen was standing here by the window, which is what I got. And you've seen it from outside. Yeah, I just saw a white shirt go by the window. I didn't really see a face or anything. Have you ever had the REM pod go off in here? No, we've had people come out here and uh, K2s, yes, spirit box stuff, but not the REM device. I mean, there's no electricity here. There's no. nothing electrical around us whatsoever. No, but I did get my K2 was going berserk. Where is it? Let's see if it's going off now. And then the REM pod was going crazy. So, not getting anything on the K2 right now. I know, there's just bugs everywhere. There's nothing we could do. Oh, 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 that went to blue and green. Hey, you want to talk to us, whatever's in here? You got something you can use to talk to us. Here we go, this thing has been awesome all night long investigating the other locations. Let's see if we can get anything on this now. And we're covered in bugs, by the way. We want to know what's inside the shack. What spirit lives in here? No, so this is quiet now. Like the REM's not going off. Yeah. It's like they're distracted now by the spirit box. Yeah. Are you distracted by this device? This device is a communication device. You can you can talk to us on it. Isn't it weird that the voice is still echoing? Whoa! That was a female's voice, and it like got stuck. Yeah, it sounded like it said help. Does anyone here need help? Same voice. Female. There's a female here. When you saw that white figure, did you think it was a female or a male? Couldn't say one way or the other. What is your name? Yeah. Oh, that was the same female voice too. Same female voice. Another, again. Yeah. Did she? Did it say cat? 
Because there's a cat embedded in the wood over there. What do you mean embedded? Like drawn? Yeah, it's like etched in. Tom and cat forever. This is a female spirit. 100%. The K2 was going off over right there. It was. It was it went off just now? No, I mean when you guys were here earlier. Really. Yeah, but it stopped and then the REM pot started going off when it stopped. Oh. We're getting nothing now. Yeah. Oh, something. Come on. Yes. John, is that you? I'm feeling very fatigued all of a sudden. Green. That went to green. It's amazing how this is responding to the comments you guys are making. Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, John, is that you? And it, again. John, so this is you that's here. Touch yellow. Yellow if this is John. Huh. Oh, green? green and yellow. Did both? Did both. Yellow too? Yep. So John, so John is here. If you guys don't know who John is, watch the previous episodes that we did here on the property. You'll know who he is exactly. He's not someone that we want to mess with. Um, he's pretty scary, to be honest. But he's definitely here. Oh, shit. He's angry. Yeah. Hey, John, what are you doing out here in the woods? John, don't you know it's past your bedtime? You should go to bed. Got a bit have been a female. Right. We're getting some a lot of female voices in here. That's true, yeah. John could just be passing through. You know what I mean? It's going for What's this land? And we're hitting on 3 30 now. And remember people back then were getting up at around 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. 3.16 a.m. right now. Smash like button. This was a really cool investigation. I know it wasn't as long as the other ones. But it's a small shack, and for a small shack, I think we did pretty good. We caught a figure on the SLS. We got a lot of REM pod activity, which is never happening in here. And the EMF was going crazy, and we got some female voices on the spirit box. So it tells us that there could be a female attached to this shack. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's confirmation. I'm talking about female. That's confirmation right there. What's I would I would have loved your name is was your name actually cat because we did hear a cat They don't like that. I was leaving leave go again. Go again Goodbye Angelo Bye. And like you can't say that was Angelo's movement. He like kind of just jumped oh, off of that super far. No. Yeah, like kick kick the kick the ledge there Okay, well, that's that how was, hard. That hard. That's how hard you gotta actually move that. But that only lit up with physical touch, yeah. not proximity. I mean, All right, I think it's time to end off this video. Thank you to Elliot for bringing us here. Once again, his link is down below. Angelo's link is down below as well. If you guys want to see more us together, let us know in the comments. Comment, comment, comment. I'm gonna be harding and liking a lot of comments. This was so cool. But it's almost four o'clock in the morning. I got a wife and a daughter to get back to, and an A and W to put in my belly. So yeah, let's go.